mais 11 voltas. Vamos ver quem é quem nessa categoria. É, é, é Superbike Pro uh! Master Like. Ai, 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 duas. A comprar terreno, duas. É o Galego e o, e o, e o Baeta. Os demais, né? Não é só a questão de tirar as motos da pista. Começa a chover aqui em Interlagos e não veio de garoa. Veio de temporal. Veio de temporal. Os pilotos entraram na reta. Os pilotos vieram na reta. Erguendo o braço. Já tem piloto indo para o chão. Vamos certamente ter a bandeira vermelha. A prova será certamente interrompida. O piloto ali sentindo, né? Se mexendo ali o piloto. Vamos ver. Moto número 67. Moto Luiz Zulianelli risada na frente do box da HJ Paulinho Superbike para fazer ultrapassagem. Tem piloto passando reto, tem piloto no chão. Tá tudo bem com o piloto, já vai se por dentro de novo para reassumir a primeira colocação. O bicho tá pegando, tá bonito, Gustavo Manso no chão. Gustavo Manso abusou, Gustavo nessa batalha foi pro chão. Tá indo. Aí o tombo do Tirsen, ó. Veio pra cima da zebra, zebra completamente molhada. Aí o piloto vira passageiro, não tem o que fazer. Mais um piloto fora da prova. Tomando ali o tombo, a moto. Came from when he took the lead at the start of the race. Now he's got himself back up to the front. You saw the pit. Oh, oh Mandrew Jr. goes down. Looks like it's Max Tot that goes with him. Just caught the front wheel and goes goes fourth fastest. He's in position. Whoa! Hold on to it, Rocco. Big high side into the gravel trap. Quickly to his feet. Turn one, look at Mesa on the 37. He sets himself up on the inside of Alexander. Alexander able to hold it. It's a good start by everybody on the front row, and also a good start for Jake Lewis and uh, Ashton Yates. Oh, spot. pile up already into the gravel trap. Riders stumbling to their feet. I hope everybody's okay. Definitely a bit wounded. Of course, uh, see over the top, and here's a replay. He loses the front. Oh, exactly the same. He goes over the top. The bike is going to pick up and flip, and it's going to do a few somersaults. Luckily, look him at him. And look at the him. Bike. Look at the speed. Look at the speed yeah. he's carrying. What's going to stop him? That's what I'm looking at. Nothing stopping him. He, he's just grinding it down. That bike is done, and and he slid to safety. Riders fanning out all over the place, trying to find some real estate. Oh, oh Rocco Landers in the back of Stefano Mesa. Mesa somehow, I don't know how he did it, but he kept that bike upright. Rocco Landers got into the side of Mesa as they went down into turn one. Or, or vice versa. Here's that crash right here off the start. Ooh. Right out of turn one. A lot of green grass. That's always, oh. oh, man, just too much throttle right there at the end. Back in, wanted to come around in a... Low speed, high side. I say low speed. He's still probably going 30 something miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. You see his airbag go off? Yep. That, that, it, 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 oh, he slowed down there too. Oh, oh no! And takes out, takes out Jody Berry with him. Three of our top four down. Standish, who looked like he was out of the podium picture. Oh. And bikes are coming all over the place. That's Toby Comsuk. They need to red flag it, I believe. That might be. That is for sure. Toby Comsuk. And that's why they're running for the fences. Yeah, it is. You can see it oh, peeking fluid. out fluid right it, there on the left side. Is it gas side. or is it water? One way or another, it's bad. And that's why the rider behind went down. They got Look at in. all that. It is just dumping God, fluid. Peak Hobbs is... So lucky. Look how close that is. Watch out. Watch the ejection here. And there's no way to get out of it right now, Roger. And that's why I thought there was fluid down because all these guys crashing behind him and he was, crashed before... He got to him. And he was laying it, and that's why Toby Comstock had he had no no idea. Hayden Schultz had no idea. How did – we still haven't seen Trevor Standish. We're assuming that he made it out. We know Teague Hobbs did. He looks behind. Rev limiters. At this time, he's going to get a much better run oh, up. Oh, and a crash on the exit of turn number one. Is there a way 
away from everybody else. Oh, oh. big crash coming on to t out of turn seven. Man, am I glad he was able to just stay on that yellow curving. I was worried about run down in towards the chicane. Is he going to be close enough to make the move on Garcia? Oh, oh Todd no! is down! And his bike's going to go through. He takes out Garcia as well. And is anyone else going to be caught up in that? Not Nothing that Garcia could do there. Philip Ton, though, just trying to trail break on the run into that chicane. And uh, we've also got Ferrandez. Right now get the feeling with that mistake from Tulovic. Oh, oh, that's Tulevich. a big mistake. Big high side for Tulovic. He lost half a second in his mistake at the start of this race. He's lost 16 points with his mistake now. And you can see he's questioning what happened. Have to keep an eye at the bottom of the screen because it will be in the back order what's happened here and it's down in towards turn four and uh, just an awful lot of riders trying to find their way down into there and uh, it looks like that might have been McManus trying to go no it wasn't McManus down the inside it might have been Jim Bear down the inside and uh, keep an eye on the blue bike in the middle of the shot big high side there for Bruno Iarachi on the exit of the corner and uh, he looks like he came down pretty heavily as well it looks like he's holding that uh, down from P2 and he loses it early and then oh I tell you what everyone's going to do well if they can avoid him and also the bike that's going to be a scary moment for Kawakami you can see there the whole field comes through and uh, a lot of goods these uh, machines have evolved with each passing season getting gradually faster yeah we've got it oh we've got a crash down that's one of the Yamahas it could be Safoglu that's gone down is, it is our pole sitter Bahatin Safoglu uh, was the rider with whom uh, Safoglu has made contact and uh, so we, we see it there yeah it looks like Safoglu's front wheel just makes contact with the a combative affair for Steven Odendahl yeah this should be the replay you can see there Thule it looks like has that crash on the exit and then you can see that looks like it's Fellini maybe that had that uh... makes the cutback for a breast for the podium battle Disora all out of shape goes wide they're bumping and boring on turn 14 one of the front runners has gone down two of the front runners has gone down I think the Consolis might have been caught up in that as well as uh, Akaya final couple of turns here Adrian Huertas pushed down to 14th position oh and down goes Tom Booth Amos in line to extend his championship lead Booth Amos goes down at the final turn and it's a game into uh, some real favour. Oh, oh, big crash in the oh, background. Two. And that's a number 92 of Marema that's gone down with the 32 of Takuma Matsuyama. Well, Matsuyama spat over the top and unfortunately... Will a replay of it? Yes, it will. Here it is, Toledo on the inside. Oh, oh that's a huge shame. Uh, unfortunate for Kubo there, just being taken out by Toledo, obviously. Just a small He's mistake. Up into sixth place. Yes, he is. Watch out for him, because we know he loves a good minute. Oh, oh big crash. Oh, whoa. And that's Adji that's gone down, it's Garcia that's gone down, and it's David, Daniel Munoz, sorry as well, it was... Oh God, he's all the way up into third, where did he even start? 11, oh, 11 big crash! Oh, big crash, two riders down, let's hope they are okay. That's the 21 that's gone down. Where today comes out of the corner, he gets a little too far back on the oh. seat, and the front end gets a little bit light, it's almost like he wheelies, and the front end, the front wheel just misses the top of that jump. The th uh oh, we've got another red flag. And Munoz goes down oh. in the over-under. Wow. I thought he was going to slam right into the side of that, but I think there was more room. Everything happens so fast here early on. Everybody's bunched up. Uh, you can see Moseman slows up, doesn't, uh, doesn't jump that double there, and then just gets tangled up with everyone else, kind of causes a chain reaction. I think he slowed up just a little.